Hey guys, so today I'm at my friend Andrew's house. You know, we're build you know what we're building? Do I know what we're building? Yeah. No. Ye okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> we're building an air cannon, but we're not building any normal air cannon. We're gonna try to build one that you don't have to like completely repump every time you fire. So like, we're gonna have two chambers and then it's gonna, basically it's gonna be like a rapid fire air cannon. It's gonna be cool. Um, so, I don't know, Andrew's figuring out some code right now because we're gonna have it like Arduino powered and stuff. But, um, yeah. Andrew, what do you think about this for our, our storage chamber? This ABS? Will that be more PSI, like will that hold more pressure? Look how thick that is. Okay, so we're getting, one of these, this will be our barrel and other stuff. One of these, which is a half inch. And then we're trying to figure out what size we're gonna use for our main like storage chamber. Dude, this is a really big diameter. I know, well that, it's that's- a lot of air to pump up. But we want like longer than that. We got all, I think we got all the parts we need uh, for the air tanks. So it's kind of how it's gonna go is we're gonna have, and you wanna be my, you wanna be my model? Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put these two here, these two here, and then I'm gonna come in here all right, so right. that's then, gonna be connected on there like that. All right, and then, and then this part's for the barrel, and then let's go to the tanks. So, so the air tanks are like that on the these. end. And then we're using this for our two air tanks. This is our barrel, and then we're using one inch to connect everything. So now we're gonna go find a sprinkler valve, right? Cool. Totes. <laughs> all right, let's do it. This right here is probably what we're, we're gonna have to use for the um, for the. This is the same thing on my air cannon, right? So this is probably oh, okay. what we're gonna use for the main valve. So this is the main valve. So what do we have to replace? We have to replace something on that. What? Oh, we have to. So we're gonna epoxy this closed, right? Yeah. And then, then we're gonna have to drill a hole. Okay. Top. Can we use one of these for the fill valve as is? Uh, we can try. Okay. What we'd actually want to do instead. Because this is, this right here is half inch. It would be a lot easier to use. Um, so this is three fourths inch. Three quarters. Or, yeah, same thing. Three quarters. You like candy, Wait, Gavin? Andrew, how are we looking? Do you think we got everything? I don't know. We're about to find out. We got, we got all of our couplers and stuff. Well, I don't know. Now the big ones. Andrew, what is that? Oh, I need a, I need a, I need a blowtorch. <laughs> of course you do. Ah, sorry. doesn't look like much um, but we kind of figured out we went to the store we got everything we need and I assembled some what we have we can't actually cut our two and a half inch pipe yet because we don't have a cutter for it uh, so we did everything we can with this so this is our main like this is like the main coupler between the main pipe our main storage tanks and our firing chamber so we're gonna have two two inch pipes coming out of here and then they go through this manifold I think it's called a manifold right I already asked you it's this. It's called a majigger. A majigger, there you go. And then into this solenoid. And this solenoid will control the flow into the firing chamber. And then out of the firing chamber, we have another another majigger that goes into 
our second solenoid valve, which is the firing valve, and then that will be connected to our, um, our barrel. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, so once we get everything connected together, we're gonna be wiring up the solenoids to a trigger with an Arduino. Um, and hopefully we can get some like semi-automatic firing action. I'm excited about this. We could even work in an automatic mode, right? Sure. I have an empty water bottle. Good. We're gonna put a firecracker in this. Oh, we are? Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> By the way, when I light this, I'm gonna bolt out this door. Shit, no more. It did go out. It's definitely not still lit. Oh. BAM! But not lit. Yeah, there's like smoke in it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching part one. I don't know when part two is gonna happen. Uh, well, for you guys, I don't know when it'll be. Someday. Someday. Yeah, so we have pretty much everything done. We have to glue it, we have to cut it. It, it doesn't look like much is done, but actually we finished, we finished most of it. So, uh, thanks for watching. We're and to put it together. We have, yeah, exactly, we have to put it together. Uh, so, look out for part two coming soon. I don't Bye. know when. Uh, alright. Bye! Alright, so here's sort of our plan. We're gonna have a main pressure chamber down here, right? And then we're gonna have a solenoid here and a solenoid here. And this will be our secondary firing pressure chamber, and this will be our main, uh, our barrel. Okay, so, the idea is you fill this up to the PSI of whatever we can, like, the maximum PSI this can handle, and then all the PSI of this one, the PSI of, so the PSI of both these tanks, and both of these valves <clears throat> and the firing trigger all go back to an Arduino board. And so when you pull this trigger, um, well first it has to prime, okay. So when you first connect everything, it lets this tank up to pressure. So it allows air to flow from here into this tank. Then when you pull this trigger, it'll release the air from here. It'll open in the solenoid and shoot. Then right after you do that, it'll close this and open this and letting air flow into this one. So this one's repressurized again, so you can fire it again. So I'm thinking if we were to make them to this size ratio, like this size to this size of uh, tubing, you'd probably be able to fire this somewhere in the neighborhood of six times um, without having to repump, which is really nice because that's the worst part of firing an air cannon right now is having to repump it every single time. So this should fix all our issues. It's gonna have to obviously be programmed. It's gonna take a little bit more than a normal air cannon, but I think it'll be a lot more fun. Uh, next, I'm gonna try to figure out what kind of um, loading system we're gonna do, because front loading is kind of like, takes a lot of time, and we'll be able to fire, I'm hoping we'll be able to fire this thing pretty quickly. You know, you know, to be able to go like that. Um, so I'm still figuring this out. I'll talk to Andrew about it, but that's my idea.